It is a year since Holmes was found at his home on the downs, stretched out and still, that great mind forever silenced. When I heard the news, I realised that I had lost not just my closest companion and friend, but in many ways the very reason for my existence. I miss him to this day, and sometimes in my waking moments I fancy that I hear them still, those familiar words, the games afoot, Watson. But they serve only to remind me that I will never again plunge into the darkness and swirling fog of Baker Street with my trusty service revolver in my hand. So why do I take up my pen one final time to stir up memories which might better be forgotten? Perhaps my reasons are selfish. It could be that like so many old men with their lives behind them, I am seeking some sort of solace. But there is another reason too. The events which I am about to describe were simply too monstrous, too shocking to appear in print. They still are. It is no exaggeration to suggest for they would tear apart the entire fabric of society and this is something I cannot risk. When I am done, I will have this manuscript packed up and give instructions that for 100 years, the packet must not be opened. It is impossible to imagine what the world will be like then, but perhaps future readers will be more inured to scandal and corruption than my world would have been. To them, I bequeath one last portrait of Sherlock Holmes and a perspective that has not been seen before. I see it now the glow of the lamp behind the glass and the 17 steps beckoning me up from the street. How far away they seem. How long ago since I was last there. Yes, there he is with pipe in hand. He turns to me. He smiles. The game's afoot. <laughs>